Hello, say it again. How is San Diego treated you so far? Amazing. Good. I was in Vegas, before Vegas, Miami. That was so hot. So this well, is your, there is a better here. Sorry. So this will be your first fight in a year. How does it feel to be back in the cage after a bit of a long break? Um, still same, you know. It doesn't matter when, when it was one year break or a couple of months. I'm ready for fight. What does this being a number one contender's fight mean to you and your career in the future? Of course, it's important for me, for my career. But, you know, I expected this. You know, I want to be best. I think I'm best. And I'm coming for belt. So Ramazan, uh, Ramazan, uh, Ramazan Kuramagomedov and Jason Jackson fought for the welterweight title recently. That mm -hmm. would be the, who you face, Ramazan Kuramagomedov. What did you think about that fight, and what do you think about Ramazan as a champion? Um, well, hey, he, he won't fight. He got belt. And honestly, I don't think too much. I'm focused for my fight. And when I'm going to and got my win, and then I'm going to start thinking about Ramazan. So you had your mom's birthday happen recently. What would it mean for you to go get a win for her right by next to her birthday? You no, know, yesterday was my mom's birthday, and it's my extra motivation. Saturday night when I'm going to win, I'm going uh, to celebrate once again. Thank you. Thank you. What's going on, Levon? How are you, man? Hello, hello. I'm good. What about you? Good. Thank you for the time. The, uh, obviously, this weekend you fight, but next weekend, fellow Georgian fighter and Marab Davalishvili, uh -huh. he he's uh, he's going to be taking on Sean O'Malley for the bantamweight title at UFC 306. What are your expectations for him, and how big is this time right now in MMA for the Georgian community? Uh, this this two week uh, for for Georgia is very important, very important weeks. And before fight week, I was in a, with my rab. We were, we were training together, and this guy has a huge energy. He's really, really ready, and he gonna get belt so fast, so so easy. And if you get the victory, obviously you'll be fighting for the championship. And Marab, obviously, if he wins, he will be the champion. If both of those things happen, what will that mean for your country? You you can't imagine, brother. Maybe you will see some uh, video edit, or our our country will be so proud for us, brother. Thank you. And Lorenz, he said that he wasn't aware that this was a number one contender fight until pretty recently. He said it was a surprise. I think someone in the gym had mentioned it to him, and like when he signed the contract and everything, he didn't know. Was that the same for you, or were you aware the whole time that this was a number one contender fight? Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, he had the first time uh, chance. He was a um, contender. He, he missed uh, this chance. Now it's my time. You know, honestly, I don't think too much about uh, champion, about uh, Lorenz. I'm, I'm focused for fight. And it, it, for me, everything is simple. I don't care nothing. Only, only Saturday night. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. How's it going? It's MMA Locker Room, part of Pup Sports Radio. How are you feeling today? Amazing, brother. Amazing. Good, good, good. Can't, I... com can't complain. Seeing you outside the building, seemed like you were just uh, putting together a game plan for this fight coming up. Yes. Uh, what were you doing outside? You know, two minutes ago, I was in the sleep. I forgot I had an interview, and I, I, I was rushing, you know? Got it, got it, got it. Everything going good. Got to, got to be going good. I mean, let's talk about it real quick. I mean, you got 10 KOs out of your 13 wins. Only three of them went to decision. A lot of people are seeing this fight as maybe potential fight of the night with two dangerous strikers. What do you think? Uh, it, that will be interesting. <laughs> it, will be, it will be fire, brother. So let me ask you, is Lorenz Larkin, is he the most dangerous opponent that you faced so far? Um. If uh, we, we see his um, career, we can say uh, it's one of the danger, but last fight was so, so I mean, um, last opponent was so hard to, tough, Sabah Homase. And uh, again, I don't think too much about his career, about his danger or no. I'm most danger guy in division, 
on only not only in division in Bellator in the world and I don't care he's danger or no I got better skills yeah I mean coming off an impressive win right first round uh knockout with the leg kick right uh dropping him um how'd that get your confidence going you know uh, before fight I knew it I was planning this uh this kick and you know when you think it's easy to do it and my of course my confidence go up and like after every fight you are a better person better fighter and i'm getting better got it man last one for me i mean think about getting better i mean georgian mma right now is on the rise uh you know you got uh one champion in illa Taporia. you got marab fighting for the title uh what's it gonna mean to bring a title home maybe to one of your camps uh, that you're fighting for out there in georgia yes. Again, it's really important for me to get belt because <clears throat> Merab, Ilya, they, they, they did a really, really amazing job. They're still doing. And I want to do it my, my part. And uh, I want to be a <clears throat> big part of MMA history for Georgia. Thank you for your time. Thank you. What's up, Levan? How you doing? Hey, buddy. What can you tell me about this guy, Zviad Lazishvili, and uh, how he's helped you and influenced you throughout your career? You know, he look. Come again? How how much he's helped you and influenced you throughout your career? No, uh, he is my brother from another mother, and I love this guy so much. Uh, without this guy, uh, it, should, it would be so hard because he always supporting me, help me. He always watch me when I training, pushing me. And his <clears throat> wrestling jiu-jitsu is so, his black belt, and he always uh, make correct my movement. And uh, he's a big part for me. You're happy he's here right now? Of course. He's <laughs> always with me. Uh, so you were defeated in two of your first three Bellator fights before now you've won your last <clears throat> three fights. So after that decision loss to Yamauchi, did you make any changes, anything different to allow you to reach a new level? You know, uh, loss with uh, Yamauchi, uh, the beginning of the fight, uh, I broke my ribs. And it was not lose for some, he was better. Of course, he, he's so good, he, I respect him, but it was incident, I broke my ribs. And of course, after this fight, I get more uh, stronger. I make my body more stronger. And uh, so I got more skills too. So if you win this fight, you fight for the welterweight championship within Bellator. Do you think in a few months, maybe next year, there will be people talking about you as one of the best, if not the best welterweight fighter in the world? Why not? I don't know, why not? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Good I luck. agree. Yep. Good luck, man, thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome to San Diego. Thank you so much. You having a good time? Amazing place. Hey, uh, so a couple quick questions for you, uh, MMA Homie Podcast. Do you feel like this is the biggest fight of your career? Yes. Yeah? Just because of what could happen? Yeah, of after course, this? yes. And the, um, what do you think are his biggest strengths against you? Your Guess opponent, what? what's his biggest strengths against you, do you think? What do you have to watch out for? Uh, he think maybe his elbow, okay. but you know, <laughs> maybe his danger uh, skills his elbow. But we'll see. Is there any? Is there more pressure because you had to take the fight on shorter notice? Who got short notice? What did, didn't he, they? He is not short notice. Oh, we, you guys. Uh, we, we you both, had a full fight no. camp. Yes. Full yes, fight we camp. both okay. had the fight camp, and he has a. Um, fight two months ago okay and I'll, I'll leave you with the fun question uh do you like to stand or sit between rounds um and then it depends how angry you'll be in the inside cage <laughs> let's see it's you know it's not big deal sit or stand up uh, i mean uh, stay stay up let's see okay and then uh ali or tyson Who is this guy? Why ask me hard questions? <laughs> Mike Tyson or Ali? Which you one do you like? Uh, for personal, yeah, personal, Ali. For uh, boxing, Tyson. All right, that's it.
Thank Good luck. You. Thank you so I'll much. <laughs> Does anybody else have any other live questions? Okay. Going over to the Zoom. Anik. Levon, um, did you see Marab's takedown apparel? He just got sponsored. He got some beautiful uh, Georgian kit. If I see Marab's takedown? Yeah, so the, the apparel takedown? Yeah, so Marab just got sponsored by Takedown, uh -huh. and they had a really cool kit with the Georgian flag on it. Did you see it? Yes, 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 I saw it. I got one too. Nice, nice. And uh, one more for me, right? What type of partying would you do in Georgia if you, Marab, and Ilya win over the next two months? Uh, if we're gonna we if we we all we're gonna win, what we're gonna do in Georgia? Yeah, that was, that was good. Uh, <laughs> I'll be with my my people uh, and drink a little bit Georgian red wine. Very nice, man. When you get a chance, check. I made a Georgian Olympic team and I put you on it. So check that out on Instagram. Thank you, my man. Thank you so much. Mike Pendleton. So, in speaking to Lorenz, he said that these are the challenges he wants. He wants the young, hungry, you know, talented challengers like yourself. What's your response to that? Do you think maybe he, he's asking for a little bit more? You know, what he can say, I mean, he have to, he have to fight, right? You know, you can you can say, oh, I'm gonna I'm not gonna fight with um, young upcoming fighters, you know. And plus, he's he's warrior. I really respect him, um, uh, his person. And uh, it is worth it, you know. I can I can't say <laughs> more about him. Next question, Aminat Yunus. Hi, I'm Aminat Yunus, Combat Talks UK. Uh, Levan, um, we saw on Instagram and people all over Twitter circulating. Do Do you know if Merab Dwalish really has a, a staph infection or not? No, no. You know, so it's just something. No, nothing special, no, nothing infection or nothing serious. No, guys, he's smart. Um, he's not stupid. <laughs> he, he know how to take care of his, himself. Plus, before his biggest fight, and don't worry about him. He will be good. Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, good luck in your fight on the weekend. Thank you so much. Next question, MMA Kid. Hey, Levon. You're coming into Hello. this fight with a three-fight win streak. How has this momentum boosted your confidence, especially with a possible welterweight title shot on the line for the winner? No, uh, my confidence. Before, uh, before Bellator, uh, uh, I mean, in Bellator, before three win streak, after three win streak, my confidence is so high and still is tough for sure your opponent has a diverse striking arsenal how do you plan to navigate his unorthodox striking style that has produced so many finishes say it again your opponent has a diverse striking style so how do you plan to navigate that striking style that has produced so many finishes uh, what i'm i mean you know when i'm gonna go inside cage um I'm gonna. I wanna prove. Uh, I'm, I got better skills, and if it'll be southpaw or orthodox, like you said, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll beat this guy. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Um, last question, Rodolfo Roman. Hey, how's it going, Levon? Uh, this is Rodolfo from FightingYo.com. 
Uh, um, do you feel that your time off uh, was significant enough for you to work on some things that you felt you need to polish more on? Uh, once again, a translator, I, I couldn't hear. Um, coming off from your time off, do you feel like the extended time off uh, allowed you to polish more on some uh, skills of either striking or grappling that you needed to polish more on? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. One year is a long, long time. And I got better wrestling. I got better jujitsu. I got more muscle. I got more smarter too. And also I got more st striking. I think you'll be, you'll be best performance from me. Excellent. Um, were you active the entire the entirety of the time, or did you take some time off uh, before you got back into training? Um, because some people like to stay active on their off seasons. Is that something that you like to do? After this fight, after this fight, right? Uh, no, uh, during this uh, oh. this long time oh. off. During this time off, did you uh, take time off uh, before you know oh. getting back into uh, fighting shape, or do you stay year round uh, oh. trying to stay in shape uh, for oh, fighting? I because um, I my camp is so hard. I got a couple injuries, and after fight, I got some one two weeks break. But it still depends um, how how fight was. You know, if I got some injured. One, one times I broke my finger and uh, I broke my ribs and maybe if two weeks, two weeks is good. I'll got, when I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get break two weeks. Excellent. Uh, your opponent has an aggressive stri striking style as they were saying, he seems to be a KO uh, seeker. And he has pretty good footwork, but you seem to be more of a technical, more strategic fighter. I do see an aggressive side as well. Do you feel that uh, maybe this is something that you'd like to prefer in a grappling match versus uh, keeping it stand up? Look, you can't imagine how many how many aggressive I have I have in my head. When I'm training, uh, some ju some jujitsu, wrestling, striking, everything. Plus, uh, I'm working. To how to control, I have an anger issue inside cage, you know, and I, I, I learn every day, you know, <laughs> I, I talk myself, Levan, stay calm, don't go crazy, and I, I'm hundred times, I, I have hung a hundred times bigger uh, ang, ang, angry with, with, than this guy, and, you know, that's it. <laughs> And uh, lastly, uh, what round do you believe that you'll be uh, ending up uh, with a win in this fight? Uh, should you be uh, the deciding factor in this case? Uh, end of first round or middle of the second round?